Hi. Hey, Welcome. Benny. How are you? Good. Hey, Good. Hi, Rob. How are you doing? Hi, Hi. madam. Hi. Uh, you're the wedding planner? Sure, sure. Oh, great. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, Hi, Ray. Hi. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> oh. You're welcome, Katty. A pleasure. So now we're all complete. Let's start so we can finish quickly. <laughs> I almost beg that we make it snappy because I have to handle a few things. Oh, sure, but quick, babe. We don't have all day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mr. Patrick and Wendy, thank you for agreeing to my plea to speak to both of you together. And I also thank you for choosing me to be part of this landmark moment of your lives. Although, I always want my clients to come to the office so that they can take advantage of a very filled, decorated love materials, which reminds us that the best love is that one that awakens the heart and plants a fire in our soul. Um. We're so sorry about the arrangement, Katsi. We're very busy people. I'm sorry, this is this is what we can do. Oh, that's not a problem. I already agreed to the terms, so it's fine. That's why I'm here. So mm. I will start by echoing what Minot said. Mm. That a successful marriage is that one that requires couple to fall in love many times and always with the same person. So, having said that, what I'm about putting together for your wedding will make you fall in love again and again and again. So, I would want you to give me your time so that I can explain the thing that we're about to happen and for you to understand the spirit of everything. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, we but don't have time. Yeah, you could come up with one or two things. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we could choose one. And remember I told you, you're going to be the person in charge to tell us what to do. I mean, we need your advice on everything. Whatever you come up with will be fine by us, right, babe? Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, very well then. I would start by asking you a total of 78 questions for today. I hope we are ready. Are we ready? Number one. 78 to 85 questions. What, what nonsense is that? Huh? Listen, okay, I think she was just trying to figure out what to design and create for the wedding. And it took her two whole hours to do that. Two hours. Well, Benny, two hours. She's just trying to be thorough. Oh, fine. Since you don't have a problem with, with what she put us through, that back and forth for all those hours, then you have to stand in for me henceforth. What? I can't stand whatever it is she thinks she's doing in the name of wedding planning. I don't have that time. <laughs> Please. Wendy, Wendy, it's your wedding, not mine. But Benny, you know what I like. You know what I don't like. You know me very well. So do this with her and report back to me, okay? Everyone says she's the best. I hear she's good at what she does. And I think she has a lovely concept. So make it work, okay? So today is the last time I get to deal with her. Stupid love and marriage quote. Is she quoting up and down? I think she was trying to impress me on when. By asking 85 questions? Despite the fact that we needed to wrap things up? When you think about it, I think they were necessary questions. Necessary questions, bro! Wow! Oh, uh, so you, you're okay with all those mini questions? I mean, you know she can't decide any of these things on her own. She needs your take and her take and all, all the subjects. So, yeah. Oh, okay, bro. <laughs> now you can take over for me. What? Robinson. Bro, you've known me all your life. Choose for me and let me know what you've chosen. Wait, what? It's your wedding! <laughs> That's why you are my best man and my brother. So choose for me. Don't get me wrong. 
Nothing compares to the love I have for you. We say, we say, but is it true that we're drifting apart? Drifting apart. And is it true that we are unsure? It seems so. And I'm afraid to let you go. To let you go. Oh my god, I am so happy to see you! Mm. <laughs> Put me down! <laughs> happy oh. to see you too. Come, come, come. Mm. come, come. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I believe this is you. Yes, so, in the flesh. Wow, I was mm -hmm. so happy when I got your message. Luckily for me, I was done with my meeting for this, so I had to quickly rush back home. I can tell you for free. The moment I stepped into the country, I knew I had to see you. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, are you rushing off back soon or mm. you're back to consult for us? Well, I'm here for now. But consulting for you guys would depend on you know, what, what Mr. Matthew is signing. Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> okay, you yes, now. Just stop. I mean, the, the color of the check. Would determine whether or not I would choose to work with you guys. I agree. But I'm actually around for the rest of the year. Really? <laughs> Yay! This is me <laughs> break dancing. Hey, hey, hey. As for Mr. Matthew, leave him to me. I'll make sure he signs the uh -huh. right check. Yes, we need you here. I trust you now. We need you here. Uh, I'm in. I'm here for you, baby girl. Let me get us something to drink no, and leave alone. We have a lot to talk about. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. Bro. Bro. What's good? Alpha. Ah. How's work? Ah, uh, work was great. And how have you been? I'm good. You're just going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's ah. go, let's go. You collect plenty. I know you're complaining. Okay. Bro. Yeah? You know Megan, right? Yeah, what's up with her? Yeah, yeah, she's coming here. She's coming here. Is everything all right? Oh yeah, everything is all right. She she just wants to spend some time here, you know, you know, just chat and vibe, you know. Like, just like that. Yeah, you know, she's a nice person. She's mm -hmm. a colleague too as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, guy. <laughs> you I think she's doing this. I think she's doing this. I think she's doing this. I think she's here. Hey, hey Patrick! Oh my God. <laughs> look at you! Oh, look at you! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, I know, I know. I miss you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Come and meet my brother. Oh, hey. hi! Hi, Megan. Yeah. What's up? Nice to see you again. I'm here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you, you know what? I can sit okay. here. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. So, um, what would you like to drink? Anything. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm cool. Anything. Uh, you would want to eat as well, right? Of course. Who'd like to eat? Uh, and, uh, bro, uh, is there something to eat? Yeah, there's tea, but I can just boil rice. Oh, no, oh. you know what? I can make the rice. Uh, White rice, right? Where's yeah. the bit sitting? Uh, yeah. Don't worry. I I'll make it rice, right? I mean, it's <laughs> nothing. Come <sighs> You get it. come on, that's how she is, man. She's just far like that. Guy, let's play in. Let's go now. Coming. Ready to go? Yeah, in a bit. Um, can we talk? Um, yeah, but just for a few minutes. Two minutes, max. Oh yeah, that's enough for me. I just want to ask you a few questions. All right, that's fine. Go ahead. Go fast. Okay. What is it? Um, are you really ready to get married, sis? What kind of a question is that? Listen, I'm only asking because something does not seem right. 
What doesn't seem right? You and Patrick are not really committed to this wedding preparation. And who says we're not? Look, I know what I am saying, okay? You guys are not the way you used to be. So what is different now from the way we used to be? You guys never used to take your eyes off each other. We are getting married. We still love each other. It does not show. Look, Benny, Patrick and I are very busy people. We are very busy. And this is something we've come to realize and we've made peace with it. Besides, relationships waxes and wanes. It's, it's not every day you have butterflies in your tummy. We've been together for six good years. And have gotten tired of each other. I didn't say that. It looks that way. How does it look when we're getting married, we're planning a wedding? And that's my concern exactly. I've never seen a couple that is so cool about their wedding like you and Patrick. I have to go, Benny. Uh, Patrick and I will love each other. We're getting married. We're planning a wedding. This has to happen at this phase of our life. Okay. Listen. Bye. Wendy. No, listen, you're always running away from this. I know what I I'm saying. I don't have time, baby. I know what I'm saying. Listen, look. You left. Yeah, I walked all night. Ah, uh, you take people all night before. It's more like day and night. <laughs> That's true. Um, can we talk? Sure. I was going to discuss this yesterday, but I mean, Megan was here till like late into the night. Yeah, she did. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Huh? What's up with you and Megan? Me and Megan, what? You, Wendy, Megan, what's up? You know what I'm talking about. Come on, Megan is just my friend. Yeah, she made dinner here last night. That's not a big deal, bro. Does she know you're getting married? Yes, I mentioned that to her. Yeah, she stayed here like really late into the night. Guy, what's up? What's up, man? Fill me in like I need to be out of here. Wendy hasn't been here in a really long time. And she used to be here like every other day. Guy, we both have crazy skills, all right? And that is the reason why she's not been yet. Well, I'm ready for this married thing. It's not time. If that is the case, you should make you the wedding planner yourself this evening. Bro. See. If it's that one, then I won't be there. Alright? Come on. This marriage is going according to plan. Yeah? See you. See you. See you. See you. See you. Alright? Take mine. <laughs> Alright, see you bro. <laughs> Hello, Miss Hi, Katie. Katie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Very well, and you? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for coming, please. Um, what of Patrick? Is he here yet? No, no, no. He's on his way already. I'll get Benita. She's here now. Who? The wedding planner. There's a meeting today, remember? Oh, yeah. Uh, see, she's here. Why don't you just go ahead and... Yeah. Benita. We talked about this. You are me now. Don't keep her waiting. Hello, Madam Kathy. Oh, hello, Benita. How are you today? I'm doing good. Welcome. Thank you. Hey. Um, excuse me, please. It's fine. Uh, 
Hey, bro. Make it out for me. I'm good. You? Can't complain. Good day, Madam Kathy. Welcome. Thank you. So, where is Patrick? Uh, he sent a representative. What? Uh, we will be representing the couple. Excuse me? That does not happen. Uh, well, I am sure that people represent couples from time to time. No, not in any wedding that I have planned. And I am talking about a lot. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's always a first time. Yeah, the couple are very busy. Oh. I see. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. I will see both of you as the couple. What? I just see us as two people who look like the couple. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we're even related to them, so... No, because that does not help my creativity. So pardon me if I call you Patrick and Wendy. Uh, but we are not Patrick and Wendy. To me, you are. Shall we begin? Because at least we'll address 102 questions today. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well then. So number one. Hey, brother man, brother man, brother man. <laughs> Yo, you look drained. Guy, <laughs> how many questions did she ask you this time? I've not planned the wedding before, but I think this your woman does her own differently. Ah, now you say you like her now. <laughs> I mean, I just think she's really passionate. Wow, passionate. Oh, so that's how you describe it right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like saying you're ready for the feedback from this meeting. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> just tell me. I beg you, tell me. First off, when did you didn't show up? I told you! I told you! But guy, that was not the worst thing. Uh -huh. She insisted on calling Ben and I, Patrick and Wendy. <laughs> this woman! Oh guy, this is not funny! <laughs> no vex, I beg, no vex now. <laughs> Alright, talk, talk. Apparently, the reason she needs to address us by your names uh -huh. is because she needs to picture how people in relationship are to help her with the colors and theme and pretty much everything that has to do with the wedding plan ah is that what she said i swear and uh, have you ever heard anything like that before i mean the fact that i've not heard it before doesn't make it a lie no see i am not saying that she is lying okay i just feel like she she is just sounding out of the world because she wants worth the money that she's charging us bro do you know how much a service is cost well, to be fair to her, I mean, I don't think she's making this up. I think it's just part of her creative process. Oh, creative process. Nice. And to think that you like her that much and you feel exhausted. Guy, yeah, it's not easy trying to answer every question as you, trying to remember what you would think or what you would say in every, you know. It makes you feel like an exam. Oh. So... You don't want to go back. Exactly. I don't enjoy being called Patrick. I'm made to imagine and think that I'm getting married. I'm not in that mental space yet. Okay, fine, fine. You know what? I would um I would talk to Wendy and see how we can reduce the meeting sessions. Reduce? Yes. Well, I know some married couple who, you know, uh, sort of meet a wedding planners once. So maybe we can do it some few more times. I'm gonna make this thing end. You're talking reduction. Bro, this woman. Okay, you want these meetings. All right? And uh, well, Wendy said it was part of the condition when she contracted her. Guy, listen, I need you. Yeah, I need you. You are my best man, my brother. Okay, I need you, man. Please, I need your help. Just sit in for me. 
I swear I hate you. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Check, man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> So oh, no. <laughs> she is calling me Wendy. Come on, Benny. Relax. Calm down. I am calm. No, you're not. See this as um a role play. Sis, how is this role play? You are just being me for a short period of time. So look, maybe you don't need a wedding planner. Says who? Says me. Look, people get married every day without this level of wedding planning. Oh, I am not people. Patrick is not just anybody. We've been fighting the big names in the business world to our wedding from all over the country. Do you know the kind of people that will be there? Ah, it has to be lit and done properly well. I can't do it anyhow. It's not possible. It's not even an option. And you're not going to go through the process. Come on, Benny. You know I don't have time for that. I don't. I don't have such time. Wait. Isn't planning a wedding supposed to be something memorable for a couple? Sis, trust me. I am not missing out on anything. This feedback, it's its okay for me. I can make do with it. That's, that's why Katie is paid so much money. She should use her brain, make it work, do anything. I can't. I don't have that time, okay? It's... I don't need to stress myself, it's just a wedding. Come on. I feel this light. I just paid heavy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Let's talk about everything over lunch or dinner. Yeah? <laughs> Why are you witch hunting right now? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Listen, 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 Megan. Huh? See, he is not to be blamed for the choice he made. Oh, so why are you holding it against him? You know what, you know what, you know what, let's, let's, let's just talk about lunch or dinner. Deal? Okay, alright. Alright, see you soon, yeah? Okay, take care, take care. Alright, alright. We have processes that guarantees compliance with pre-established product designs and, 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 and requirements, don't we? So why am I working on to such a report? Why? You need to stop everything you're doing now and go back to retracting every step. All of it. I'm on my way to the office. You and your department would not give me a headache. Fine. Hi, Fred. I'm good. I'm, I'm very well. And you? Sure, sure. Dinner is fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to the office now. Yeah. Of course. I'll see you. <laughs> yes. Right, you stupid. Hard in the fight. When they were kids, they fled the civil war in Georgia with only little lives and escaped to Armenia. Their uncle, Aftan Dil, took them in. To this day, he runs operations from brothers. But in Armenia, they face a new kind of war. Yo, bro. No, that what? is cheating. I didn't cheat. You just did. You just said hello. Come on, I have to say hello to my brother. So how can you say hello without opening your mouth? I, you... you went against the rules. Okay, fine, fine. Another round. All previous marks cancelled. Cancel? Yes. Are, are you for real right now? Uh -huh. Like. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go, let's go. Another round. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's so, go. One, two, two three, three, go. Go. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Stop! 
No, no, that's your fault. No, no, you cheated no, again. Why did you tap me? Why did you tap me? You. you wanted me to smile. So it's part of the game. No, it's part of the game. No, you laugh. You open your mouth. You open but you, you tickled no, me. You, you open your mouth. You open your mouth. Oh, you cheated again. So one zero. Let's go. That Let's is go. Let's go. One zero. One two three. Go. <laughs> so, you do realize that you are the only top female executive in that office, right? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Wait, is that brighter since then? Mm. Mm. With my full chest, <laughs> I am proud. Abe, calm down, Abe. <laughs> see, my shoulders are high. You see? You see that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually proud of you, you know. Thank you. Yeah. You're doing well for yourself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I was actually shocked when you told me that Mr. Matthew had promoted you to top operation manager. He tried to be funny at first, but the guy he promoted before me mm. almost ruined everything. He destroyed everything. Mm. So he had to promote me and doubled my salary. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I mean, he wanted you to have the choice though. Exactly. I know he must have really pissed you off. I was like, how can you just bring some guy from the UK from a company nobody knows or heard mm. about and make him operations manager mm -hmm. just like that? UK company. Ah, yeah, yeah, company. No name, oh. No yeah, name. Yeah, company to the call. Ah. You know, Mr. Matthew have always had issues with promoting female employees. Yes, I mean, before I left, I actually told him that he's not maximizing the female talent he has around him. So, uh, I can really say that you are the only female that has earned his respect. You may not respect me uh, now. I see the way they raise your I'll gladly <laughs> quit. Mm -hmm. And the next day, he'll see me saying hi from our biggest competition's office. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I see they have really, really poached you. Actually, yeah. Mm. They actually did. And um, they offered me tries of whatever Mr. Matthew was paying me. Right away. And summer budget for any country of my choice for three good years oh my god yes wait three times mm -hmm. <laughs> girl now, yeah. mm -hmm. you're not the one calling the show too. of course <laughs> they don't have a choice i already told them but i don't think i don't think i'll take the offer i like where i am now mm -hmm. superstar yes i mean you, you are just not, say you're that again loud it that. say it louder <laughs> Louder, Superstar. say it again, Mega again. <laughs> <laughs> you know your girl. Oh, boy. I'm really, really proud of you, trust me. Thanks, thanks. Well done. You've done really well for yourself. <laughs> you need to come open with me. Open? How? Oh. You and Megan. <laughs> you know, I was suspecting this. See, Megan and I are just friends, okay? And let me tell you, Megan is really fun to be with. And I will be happy, all right, to have her around me as much as possible. Isn't this what you should be saying about the woman you are marrying? Yeah, true. Wendy is funny as well, okay? Trust me. Just not as funny as Megan, right? Guy, that is not what I'm saying. What, what are you what? saying? Guy, what are you asking me? Why are you staying and talk now? Listen, if you feel you need to call off this wedding, I will understand and I will support you. What makes you think I want to call off this wedding? I don't see why not. Oh, so you don't want me to marry Wendy? If you feel like she's no longer the one for you, yes. Oh, are you not the same person that said you fancy how Wendy and I are happy together? That was back when both of you were inseparable. Now I don't know what happened. Nothing happened, okay? Nothing happened. We just got busy, all right? We've been together for six years. Six long years. That is enough for two people who, you know, sort of like have been together, understand each other's routine, and can manage each other's absence. Listen, if what I'm saying is six years of relationship, then I'm sorry. I don't think you both should get married. <sighs> I'm sorry. Because you guys have drifted so far apart that I feel like you're just getting married to make up for the fact that you were together for so long. That is not true. Listen to me. 
You know that I know you and I owe you honesty. If you felt exact same way you felt about Wendy a couple of years ago, you know that this Megan conversation will not even come up. I just felt like I should put that out there. I am. But Wendy and I perfectly understand how we want our future to be like. So this wedding is on. Fine. Hey, sis. I've been calling you. I'm sorry. My phone has been on silent and it's, it wasn't my back. I'm sorry. Hello, Benny. Hi. Look at your face. You look so worried. You never stay out this late. I know. Blame it on Freddy. He took me to this karaoke bar. Oh, God. I had a good time. I sang my heart out. But I'm fine. Look, I'm good. I'm fine. Still, you should have called. I'm sorry. Oh, fine. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Don't worry your little head. I'm fine. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I must say thank you for a fun-filled night. I had a good time. You're welcome. <laughs> so, now that I am back home safe, as you can see, mm -hmm. can you go home now? <laughs> Definitely. I'll go home, okay? Okay. But I'll call you tomorrow. That's fine. All right. You take care. I will. Good night. All right. right. <laughs> I feel this light. A little dimmer mm. than the one we used to show. We used to show. Ah. Don't get me wrong. Nothing compares to the love I have for you. We say. We say. But is it true that we're drifting apart? Drifting Coming. Apart? And is it true that we are unsure? It's I'm sorry I didn't keep your call or return it. Oh, it's fine. It's good. So, when is Freddy going back? He's with us till the rest of the year. The rest of the year? Yes. Okay, so is he still consulting for you guys? Yes, he is. So it's not like he has returned to the company? No, just consulting. But what's the interest with Freddy? Well, you seem kind of interested in him, so I'm just wondering what's up with him. Penny, Freddy and I, we've been friends for years now. You know that. Yes, I do. But I'm wondering if he's trying to find another friend now that you're about to get married. This topic again. Mm -hmm. It's an important one, by the way. Okay? Kathy is coming tomorrow. I, I have a presentation tomorrow. And afterwards, I'll have a business dinner. So, you will sit in for me. I've had as much. Mm -hmm. Good night, madam. Bye. You see, there are no set rules about wedding planning. Every wedding planner has his or her own training, signature or style. But for me, it's also a calling. So my style is like no other. So I do a little extra to make sure that the wedding is a breathtaking wedding, which leads to a beautiful marriage. So Patrick and Wendy, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, we're sorry. We're so sorry. What's the joke about? No, no, no need to be sorry. 
Don't laugh alone. Say it. We we are not Patrick and Wendy. You know this. And you keep calling us that. Like <laughs> it hurts my imagination. And I told you. <laughs> well, it cracks us up. Then laugh. Laugh because I noticed the last time I came, both of you were frowning. Each yeah. time I call you that name. Okay, so you're saying you're going to continue calling us their names? Yes. Wow. And if you feel that I should stop, then get me when they are Patrick. So before then, let us begin. Today we are going to talk about colors. Mm -hmm. And do you know that what Oscar Wilde said is true? And what did Oscar Wilde say about calling me Patrick? Uh, he was talking about colors and he said, mere colors can speak to the soul in a thousand different ways. And I'm going to give this wedding a mind-blowing color blend. Hmm. Well, I'm sure they're going to like it, so. Yeah. Did I just hear you say, they? No. I mean, I, Wendy, will like it. Correct. I'm sorry. Patrick, will you like it? Oh, yes, Wendy. <laughs> I will learn. <laughs> Correct. I so, what do you think about color yellow <laughs> and the blue mixed with It's so obvious she wants to frustrate us. Obviously. I don't, I don't even... But do wedding planners spend so much time with those they plan their weddings for? Hello? How am I supposed to know? I don't have been married before. Me neither, but I don't think so. I mean, today we're talking about colors and the next she says we're going to be talking about flowers. But when you think about it, how many flowers does the wedding really need? Well, I've actually seen a wedding decor with tons of flowers. Even at that? I think she's overdoing this whole thing. We are not even going to talk about the cake tasting we are going to her office for. Clearly, she's overdoing it. I think so too. The sad thing is, it's not even worth it. Why did you say that? I don't think your sister and my brother are into each other like they used to. They're just going on with this whole thing because they feel like it's a thing to do. Handling this entire thing as if it's a business. I wish they were even taking the business seriously. Well, me, me, I'm tired. Me too. What do we do? We need to help them call up this wedding. But don't you think we are going to be forcing this decision? No, we won't be forcing anything. I think there's something going on with my brother, but I won't be the one to snitch on my brother. Something is going on with my sister as well, but I don't want to snitch on her too. We need to end this. I agree. We have work to do. I do. They okay. No, I know they okay. You look beat. Huh? I don't mind something else. <laughs> what did she do this time? I I don't know, man. I think you just need to find another person and just, you know, get rid of her. <laughs> you were the same person singing the praises. Okay, wait. What did she do exactly? I don't know how to describe it, but I think she's really confused. I think you should 
find a way to get your money back and start looking for another wedding planner. If you're lucky enough, within a few months, you can get a really good one. Are you kidding me? The wedding is in a few weeks and you're here telling me a few months? Yeah, hey, you can't postpone the wedding. I'm not saying you should postpone your own wedding, no, but like, I mean, would you rather not take your time to plan your wedding and have somebody win your special day? You know what, I, I would, I'll talk to Wendy, all right? She chose her. Okay. Well. Thanks, man. No oh, Allah. There's acting a lot of you. It's fine. No problem. Guy, you know they look like there's no problem. What do you mean? There's... Cheer up now. Cheer up. I know that's not you. They find one of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, okay, go change, up, change up and then come and let's, and let's play some game, yeah? Let me you just... find out what time may you beat me. <laughs> At some point, I was like, whatever money was paid to this one is a waste. What? I am telling you. She's getting clearly clueless with every meeting, sis. Look, I think you should change the wedding planner. The wedding is in weeks. I know. But instead of a terrible experience, I think you should just move the wedding date or something. Do you know how far we've gone? Do you know what we've put into already? The invitations has been sent out. A lot of things has been done. Look. I am just worried for your day. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll have a... I'll talk to her. To stop? When I see her first. Okay. Don't worry, sis. I'll have a great wedding. Amen. Amen. Anyway, let me get you rest. Okay. okay. All right. Later. Later. Okay. Hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, and you? Ah, uh, yes. Not bad. I'm just tired. <clears throat> tired? Babi, what's up with a wedding planner? Huh? I'm not getting good reports about her. Same here. Well, if they're both saying the same thing, do you think there's something wrong? I'm beginning to agree to that. Well... So, why don't you check it out yourself? I will allow. I'll create time. Okay. So you check it out and let me know, yeah? Okay, sure. All right, later. It's a song. But I'm afraid to let you go If you go It's so sad But I'm scared that I might break it What do you mean it's not working? Listen I tried to push for her to fire the wedding planner But she was not enthusiastic about it At some point I had to leave her Because I was pushing a little bit too much And I don't want her to find out what I'm doing Because she will misunderstand it And she will not agree that I'm worried about her getting married Just for the sake of it hmm. Me too, because, I mean, I don't like this idea of getting married today and then the next minute you're talking about separation and divorce. If there's going to be a separation, let it happen now. Same here. Listen, I'll figure out what she'll say about her decision, okay? And I will think about other angles to explore. All right, I'll do same. Bye. All right, bye. Hey, good morning. Good morning. So I asked Mrs. Carty to be here this morning because I need to speak to her. Okay, how early? Practically now. Oh, okay. I think that's her. Do you want me there? Of course I do. I'm the first. Okay. Oh. 
Hello, Miss Cathy. Good morning. Good morning. I love you. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good to have you. Please sit. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Wendy, I am glad that you called for us to meet. But I must tell you that this style of wedding planning is alien to me. Good morning, Benita. Morning, Mrs. Kathy. Good morning. Look, I totally understand what you're saying, but you need to understand my situation. Are you busy? Very busy. So Benita here will be standing in for me. And she also has a lot of things to do. So could we hurry up with the meeting? Oh, why not? I just have two more meetings with you and Patrick or then and we're done. Uh, last time you sounded like it would take a whole lot more than two meetings. That's because I am detail-oriented. But trust me, two more meetings and we're done. And I will show you the 3D design of all that we agreed upon. Hmm. I look forward to seeing that. So, all you've said has covered for the meeting I intended having, so I think we're good. Oh, I'm glad my answer is satisfactory. Very. So, I need to go get ready for work. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. That's fine. Bye. Okay, Wendy. Now, shall we? Hey, bro. Yes, I am stepping out with Megan, yeah? So when I get back, uh, we talk about the meeting with Carti, all right? Okay, all right, bro. See you. All right. Uh. Wow. You look good. And you look smashing. Trust me. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we? Of course. I make reservations already. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Hello? Where are you? I'm at home. Can you come out? Yes, um, what for? I need you to see something. It's really important. I'll send you the address now. It's not far from the house. Okay, um, go ahead and send it. Hello? Are you here? Yes, I am. Okay, um, my brother is in there. With my sister? No, and please, your sister doesn't know about it. Okay. He's in there with a lady. Her name is Megan. Wow. <laughs> then they should really not get married then because my sister is really fond of her former colleague, Freddie. What? What do you mean fond of? Wait, there's no coding here. Look, I am not coding anything, okay? I am suspecting something even though I am not certain yet. But whichever way, they are too close for comfort. The moments they share, the time she spends with Freddie should be with Patrick. If not, there is no point to all of this. See, I've been thinking exactly the same thing. It should be Wendy in there. I don't know what is wrong with the two of them. 
I don't know. Oh my god, I had such a great time. Myself, I had fun. I had fun, <laughs> mad fun. <laughs> and the salsa steps. Like, this is my first time dancing salsa. Okay? <laughs> I, 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 I don't even remember the steps. Uh, okay, no, no. This is, come, 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 let's try it. Wait, wait, wait. Come, come, come. You know, I don't know how to do it like that. It was like this. Like this. Then, hey, bro. Hey, hi, big bro. Hi, Miguel. Yeah. What's up? I'm good. Are like you stepped out? Yeah, I do that sometimes. Oh, as usual. Yeah. You guys having fun? <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you know what? I, I, you know what? Come, Let's... Come, 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 come. Let's try the steps, yeah? Come. I think we should do this more often. Like, I really had so much fun. Myself, I'm gonna make some reservations, but we'll do the salsa. Oh my god, do you know how I like this? Okay, so let's go. No, 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 bring that one. So I'll take it back. Let's go. <laughs> Let me finish the gist now. <laughs> I will. I'm going to let you. I will, but just. <laughs> hey. Hi, Benny. I thought you were in your room. Uh, no, I took a stroll. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. <laughs> so, as I was saying. <laughs> allow me to talk now. Okay. I will, I will, I will. Okay. <laughs> You're not a serious person. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, but you're still <laughs> laughing now. Morning. Good morning. Why are you smiling? Because I am waiting for you to lecture me on Freddy. Well, I think that he makes you happy. I think you need him. Why do you say that? Well, your happiness is important. And whoever makes you laugh that much should be the person you spend more time with and not the person you barely see or call. It's been a while I visited this house. Well, you have been busy. You've been busy too. <laughs> Look at who is talking. You have been busy. True, true. Yeah. Um, uh, is everything okay? Yes, babe. Oh, I'm sorry. I have an emergency. I need to attend to. Oh, so, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, but babe, we'll, we'll talk. Yeah, Our yeah, new true. house, um, yeah. where we're getting it. Mm. Exactly. And the uh, hotel. Yes, hotel. yes, yes, yes. yes. Talk about that. True, true. Uh, but, but, but we can do the during the week, right? Um, yes. That could work. We'll uh, fix a time. Great, right. Okay. Yeah, babe. <coughs> Take care, babe. I love you, babe. I love you too. <laughs> I, 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 I'll call you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Hey, me. Yes. I have an idea. Tell me. Hello, big sis. Benny. Hey. Are you okay? Yes. Okay, just checking in. And to also let you know that I'm going to see a movie with Freddy, so don't wait up. Okay. I hope calling will help you relax. Yes, and keep calling. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> okay, so what cinema are you going to? The one at the mall, beside Golden Tulip. Okay. But I'm not leaving now, though. I'm still at my favorite restaurant. Movie is a little 
later that is why i said you should not wait up because i'll be pretty late okay cool no problem okay thanks bye all right bye Oh my god! Ah no 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 Oh my god No 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 like I just saw this I there's a picture of you know Miga right and this this is not good man this is not good Oh my good. god Oh my god what's this like a friend just sent it to me now a friend yeah but how did they get a picture of me and Miga in front of a restaurant? Wait, 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 wait. What took this picture? Your friend? No, no, no. Apparently, there's a site that goes around taking random pictures of couples. <gasps> and then they post it, you know? It doesn't say you guys were even holding hands and... There like, were couple goals on it. Couple goals. I you guys were even holding <laughs> hands and everything, see? Wait, make sense. wait, wait, wait. You're saying that this pictures are on the site right now? No, apparently, I think the site has gone on the ground. They, they just, you know, took it down when they went, disappeared. But only God knows how many pictures they took and who they sent it to. I don't understand. So they just go around taking random pictures of people? Without even asking them. I, I, oh my God. But that that's not even the worst thing. There's also a picture of Wendy and some other guy. Wendy? Yeah. Just, show me, show me. Here, look at her. See? I don't know that guy. They are not related. Oh my god. It will seem like the two of you are in two different relationships. When did you get this picture? I even saw this earlier this morning. Same person sent it to me. It seems the two of you are in two different relationships, which, you know, doesn't make sense. What's this world turning into? Right. Can you stop this from spreading? I mean, you know the internet, it's already out there. And the site, like I said, had already gone underground. <sighs> but you can do something, right? You're like tech, bro. You can, I you mean, can do something. I'm I can't even find the site anymore, but I'll check though. I mean, I think you should talk to Wendy. I don't know this guy. And, and the way the... See, there's more pictures of Wendy and... Leave it, leave it, don't show it to me, man. Couple goals, like, go, go, ow, like... How do they take these pictures? I hear they take pictures of random couples. Without their consent? You don't even see where they are hiding. God. This, this is madness. So how did you get mine and Patrick's pictures? Well, a friend of mine was sending me a lot of pictures from this site that I was about to shut down. I did not even expect to see you and Patrick's pictures from there. 
I deleted the other pictures. God, this is not looking good at all. At all. I mean, you guys really look like couples. You look really happy with Freddy too. Can you stop saying that? Sorry, okay? I didn't mean to offend you. I mean, this is why I did not want to say that a lady with Patrick looks like his woman. Okay, Benita, can I please process all of this first before you go on and talk and talk and talk, please? Okay. All right. Sure. It's okay. Okay, it's fine. I'll just let you be. A little dinner from the one we used to show. We used to show. This is not good. Nothing compares to the love I have for you. Hello. Hi. Benny. Hey. Yeah. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Um, is she in a room? Yeah, she is. Um, let me... Oh, no, no, don't worry. I would go upstairs and see her. Okay, cool. We both look like we are dating other people weeks to our wedding. Well, I'm not dating any other person, are you? I am not. We both look quite cozy. Yeah. Here we do. I said everything the way you asked me to. Good. So, yes, we have right now. Yes. Well, I just prepare for a breakup. Yeah, look, it is for the best, okay? I mean, they don't even realize that I've grown apart from each other and are getting intimate with other people. Very intimate. That's the sad thing. Well, if they knew what we're doing for them, they would thank us. I don't even want anybody thanking me, okay? I just want them to realize that there's something wrong with their relationship and this wedding is useless if they're not excited about it. Sure. Look, well, what I think... I wasn't cozy. You were. It was wasn't. written all over your face. No, I could see. Don't tell me that I don't want to hear. It's happening. My family is not there. Go and find out. Why are you acting like I'm blaming you? Are you not? I am not. That's what you're doing. No, I am not. Okay? Okay, come to think of it. Alright? We are just getting by in this relationship. That's not all you said. <sighs> see, I highlighted, okay, that you got busy. And that's not all I'm highlighting here. You highlighted that I got busy. You highlighted that we've been together for a while now and we've taken things for granted. You highlighted that we spent time with other people that we do amongst ourselves. And the fact that we're getting married with no spark in our relationship. But you forgot to highlight the fact that you got busy too. Fine, okay? I missed that out. But that was not intentional. It's fine. Whatever. Oh. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened. We need to think about this wedding properly. I guess. I 
Are you okay? I heard your voices. I don't know. Is he angry with you? We are angry at each other. What does that mean? I don't know. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm scared. Of what? I don't know. You think it's because of losing him? I don't know. Or is it of calling off the wedding? I don't know. I, I, I wish I knew. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. How, how did we get here? We got so familiar and comfortable with each other that we drifted apart or even cold. Now he's talking about thinking well about the wedding. He said that? Yes. Oh, God. I think he means ending it. Sis, you need to go to him and talk things through. All of a sudden, this picture makes it look like I have to choose between Freddie and Patrick, who I want to be with. That's, that's what it's looking like. Which I think is a good thing, sis. Because if it is not Patrick, then you need to end things. Peter, please, I, I need to be left alone. Please, I, I, I need to think. Of course, of course. But if you need me, I'll be here, okay? Good morning, bro. Hey, bro. Why not dress for work? No, I am. I'm going to see Wendy. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. You know. Hey. Good morning, Wendy. Hey, Rob. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, babe. I, I was just about to come see you. I'm here now. Can we talk? Uh, sure. Okay. My room, man. We need to make a decision. What kind? What do we do about the wedding? What do you want us to do? Don't make it about me. I am not making this about you. Okay? I just don't know what I should be considering right now. I don't think we need to be hasty in making decisions. Except any of us has a reason to be. What is her name? Megan. She's my colleague. And what's his name? Freddy. He was a former colleague, but now he consults for us. Do you like him? He's fun. Do you like him? Yes. Mm. 
Do you like her? Yes. She is fun too. Ready. Pick up. Hey, how are you? Good. Hungry? No. No. I had dinner with Patrick, so I'm good. Freddy, you mean to say? Patrick. And I'll be going over to his place sometime soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Hello, Rob. Your sister is here, what's up? I don't know. What did she say before she left home? She said they went to dinner together and he actually picked her up from the office to the restaurant. For real? <laughs> yeah, I am surprised. Well, it seems like what we are doing is not working. Out. Well, I think that it is working in a different way. How do you mean? I think we got him to start dreading losing each other and now they are going back to the time where they were inseparable. Is that a good thing? Well, it's supposed to be a good thing if they are truly falling for each other again. Well, I guess we'll just wait and see then. Okay, all right then. Bye. Bye. Huh. We both didn't cheat on each other. So why are we overthinking it? I feel this light. What if we talk about it? 
I don't think anybody should be judged about something they thought about and didn't do. Besides, all I'm focused on right now is what, is what this picture makes me feel. What does it make you feel? It makes me think hard about choosing you. I made the right choice. Megan, Megan is nice, she, she makes me laugh, she's funny. But she hasn't been able to compete with what I feel for you. But if Freddie is the man you want, we can end this. And you can go be with him. I don't want Freddy. I don't know how we got so disconnected from each other. And then I see a picture of both of you. I, I can't sleep. I, I lose sleep. I called my auntie and she said a lot of married couples go cold on each other. And really? some never survive it. And those that don't let go of each other by filling their lives with memories of each other ignite a flame at the same point. And another phase of falling in love happens to them. I, that's what's happening to me right now. Really? I don't want to lose you too, Freddy. I don't want to lose you to Megan. <laughs> no, no, never. Oh, never. So why are you giving me chocolate at this time of no. day? Chocolate, chocolate represents love. I know. Represents um, um us. Mm -hmm. okay. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Okay. 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 I mean, do you trust me? Do you yeah. trust me? Yeah, I do. I do trust you. I'll give you see, I told you. Hey. Okay, then. In, in, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't you I feel this light. From the one we used to show. We used to show. Don't get me wrong. Nothing compares to the love I have for you. We stay the same. But is it true that we're drifting apart? Drifting apart. And is it true that we are unsure? Hey, morning. Good morning. Are you okay? I am. Do I look like I'm not okay? You look okay. I'm just asking to make sure Patrick did not say anything to you that is hurtful. No, not at all. Actually, I had fun. I had a good time and we made a decision. Oh, which is? I'll tell you later. So what time is the wedding planner coming? At 5 p.m. Okay, perfect. I'll be back home by then. Okay. Because I need to speak to her. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> <sighs> Baby, I'll never go down, baby. 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 I'll never go down
I mean, whatever they decide, I don't think it's going to be a breakup. They might probably just maybe take some time to plan better. Hmm. Are you so sure? Kind of. I saw the both of them at night feeding each other chocolates and laughing. Hmm. And you know, the only time two people will do that if... When they have something for each other. Exactly. <laughs> You know, this is not exactly what we're going for, but I don't mind it too. I don't mind it either. I like having you as an in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me too. But I mean, let's just wait and hear from them first. I know, right? Uh -huh. Here you go. Mm, cute. Welcome. Okay. Oh. That must be Mrs. Keith. Oh. The international wedding planner. Thank God. I beg, remind me to avoid that whenever I'm planning my wedding. Remind me to. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hello, Hi. Mrs. Kathy. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Kathy. Hello. Um, no name calling today. I can see you're enjoying that name. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Hello. And you're forgetting my name also. This is Patrick. <laughs> okay. Patrick and Wendy. Hello. Now you are talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I will. Hello, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So we have decided to plan our wedding ourselves. Ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Shall, yeah. <laughs> All right. Up, up. Um, it's time for us to start. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I am glad to have you, Mr. Patrick and Miss Wendy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so, what happened? You are no longer busy? Oh, uh, because we made time. <laughs> you sound like you don't want to talk to us. No, I just asked a question. What happened? Um, so, we had a wake-up call. Yeah. And we decided to sit with you instead. I am happy. I was actually waiting for both of you to get serious and plan your wedding. Or I will keep talking and talking and talking and never get anything to plan this wedding. What do you mean? And then you will get tired, get angry and get someone else last minute while fighting me to get your money back. Then while at that, you ask yourself the tough question, why do you want to get married in the first place? Wait, you are saying you've been stolen on purpose. All this has been an act. Yes, I was paid well to do that. So why can't I stall? See, I am divorced myself. And that happened because I allowed my marriage to go cold. Myself and my ex are supposed to be blamed for that. Mm. For now, he's married to someone else. And I want him badly. And he wants me too. But there's nothing that can happen. And nothing I can do because he now belongs to someone else. Uh, but all you needed to do was just to talk to them directly instead of having us sit before you. Mm -hmm. What? Wendy that contracted me never had time, not even a minute to sit with me and talk about her wedding. All she wanted was for me to plan everything in a day. Is it also why you call us their names? Yes, because I wanted you both to get so pissed off, angry, and bring them to sit before me and plan their wedding. But whatever it is that made two of them hold hands, come into this place and sit before me as my gratitude. Because you see that very first day I walked into this house and sat on this chair and saw that hug and that kiss. I knew that whatever they shared has either gone cold or gone. Okay. Um, okay, so 
What did you say about Minon the other day again? Oh, that. Minon says, and I quote, that a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always and with the same person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 